Today is the day I need to vacuum the pool once more. Yes, we are into late October and my pool is still open. Why, you ask? Because year after year after year, we've had this pool maybe, well not this one, but a pool for about 15 years now. And every year I am struggling come spring dealing with the damn tarp and the water, rainwater, and snow melt, and leaves that are on top of the tarp every single year. And I've always, every year, tried something different. Pillows in it. Uh, um, what'd you call them? Freaking sucker things. I can't even think. But uh, getting the water off the top, letting all the crap sink into the pool. <coughs> Barking at a whole lot of nothing. Pumping the water off the top. Uh, but then you still got all the leaves, plus you have to sit there and watch it because if you don't, the pump can, will dry out when it sucks water out of a certain area. So it's just been a pain in the ass year after year. And then also, I usually put the tarp somewhere in the yard and it just becomes a part of the yard so I'm usually buying a damn tarp every year and then you gotta buy all the clips <laughs> so this year I'm trying something new I'm leaving it open until all the leaves are gone hey kitties hey you're interrupting me Try and talk here. Try and talk here. So every year I'm battling. So this year I'm gonna try something totally new. And do you know how weird it is trying to convince people you're not gonna put a tarp on your pool and, oh, you gotta put a tarp, you gotta put, why? To keep the leaves out, right? Well, if there are no leaves to go into the pool, why do you need the tarp? So, sure, dirt and little stuff's going to get in there, but then you don't have to worry about the dam if you open the pool late in the spring. You don't have to worry about tadpoles and frogs getting on your in your tarp and breeding and causing another headache that way. So I figured what I'll do is I'll wait. Running water is harder to freeze than still water. But I keep an eye on the weather, keep an eye on the leaves. We'll decide when the right time is to shut it, the pool off, drain it down a little, past the skimmer, and cover up the motor. So I'll make that call when appropriate, but it ain't taking too much to keep these leaves out, thankfully. Uh, I spend probably average 10 minutes a day throughout the day periodically coming out here and just uh, netting off some of the loose leaves because the skimmer is doing most of the work, the pump. Yeah, it, it, a lot, you know, some sink. A lot of dirt gets down there. But if you vacuum it once a week, the first week it took me an hour to vacuum it because it ain't that much. So you can go pretty quick. A hell of a lot faster than if you just, you know, try to get your tarp off in the spring. And uh, freaking big piles go in. And you're spending like hours upon hours out here trying to get those leaves out. So it's always a pain in the ass. I see those big domes they put on them now. And I'm like, maybe I should just get a dome. Put a dome over my pool. It'd be kind of cool. So I've always been trying to create different ideas too. But I figure I'm just gonna try this and see what happens. See if it's gonna be a good idea or a bad idea. Time will tell. Either way, it's gotta be a lot easier than dealing with the damn cover come spring. So, time to vacuum.
What'd you guys do? What'd you guys do? What'd you guys do? You, you killed him. Why did you have to kill him? And he's, he's still moving. If you're gonna kill him, why didn't, why didn't you just do the whole job? Now, I've got to do the humane thing and put him out of his misery. <laughs> no. no, he's still alive. Crying. He's crying. Just die. Just die. I don't want to see you suffer no more. <laughs> They're like, hey, that's our toy. Leave it alone. <laughs> and there you are. So my plan sounds logical. At least in my head. So let's see if it, if it works. Gotta love the fall though. <laughs> Mr. Burn, what's up buddy? What's up baby boy? So here we are, November 9th. We're still waiting for all the leaves to get done on the trees here. Pool's looking like still you could swim in it. Maybe I've been closing the pool wrong for 15 years, because so far so good. We've had a couple of freezing nights, but haven't had, you know, obviously no freezing. There's so much water here, plus it's constantly moving so it's very hard to freeze. I've, over what, about a month and a half, I've got a total of, I would say probably five hours into keeping it clean. I've vacuumed it three times thus far. The last time was probably about a week ago. And uh, the other few hours, couple of hours or whatever, is just coming out for like 10 minutes and just skimming off the top, cleaning out the basket. So, man, if I just had a heater, I could use this pool all year long. Maybe I need to look into some ways to heat this water up that won't be freaking expensive. Maybe some solar, something solar or something. So, so far the experiment's going good. I'm just, Late, grateful I'm not going to have to mess with that dirty ass tarp and all the tadpoles come spring. A little bit more to go. We got some freezing freezing coming in the next couple of few days away so I'm hoping this stuff will hurry up and drop so I can lower the water level and shut it off and cover the pump up and be done with it. But still looking good. Looking good, so. Right, mister? Right, mister? Right, mister? <laughs> Baby boy. Baby boy. So that's it. All right. Wait for the next update and see if it'll be still positive or if we end up going in the wrong direction. So we'll see. What's up, baby boy? So here we are on the final weekend and I'm gonna have the pool running. It is November 15th. What up, baby girl? And we're still on the... So far, so good. We had a little freezing spell that came. The only ice that appeared was on the water, I should say 
in the pool was on the far side where there's not really much flow. There was a very thin layer on top. Didn't cause no problems, no issues. Still got about, what, five leaves, a little bit of dirt starting to pop up. But I think I'm just gonna, that ain't gonna hurt anything. So what we're gonna do is over the next couple days, start running uh, closing uh, chemicals, get the water all jacked up. And in two days on Monday, so that'd be the 17th, I'm gonna shut down the pool, drain it past the skimmer, and we're gonna let it sit open for the rest of the winter. We'll see how dirty it gets see if it was a good idea or bad idea all the leaves are pretty much gone so i'm not worried about that anymore if any do fall in it's going to be a very very um limited number and it ain't going to really stay in the bottom or anything i've had leaves sit in the bottom longer than these will be sitting in the bottom so and it didn't cause any issues so i know that's not going to be an issue so my only wonder is how much dirt is going to pile up into the pool when wind blows you know there's dirt in the wind so I'm curious to see how dirty the bottom's going to be but even if it's dirty it's going to be a whole lot easier to vacuum come spring than all those leaves that would have been on the tarp right now so so far so good still hopefully it uh, ends that way so Gonna start the the process. So and we'll see what happens. It's fun stuff. God I hope this works. Because I'm really so sick of opening the pool in the spring with that tarp. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. So here we are. leaves pretty much done pool's been shut off for three four days now I just come out like once a day and get the little bit of leaves that are still coming down out and uh I've been overthinking closing the pool year after year after year for 15 years trying to figure out the best way to not have all the leaves and the crap on the cover come spring try to come up with an idea, a different idea every year for 15 years. And for some reason, just never thought about not putting a cover on it, keeping the pool going until all the leaves are gone, or pretty much. And just leaving it at that. <laughs> and like I said earlier, probably in one of my, this is all pieced together now, but I've done this over time, this video. The reaction of people when I said, I'm not closing the pool, I'm not putting a tarp on the pool, was kind of outrageous. Like, no, you can't do that. What are you talking about? And everybody seemed to be stuck to the, the, the same old premise that that's what you have to do. Well, Thankfully, I like to think out of the box, even though it took me a little longer than normal. All right, Mr. Byrne. All right, so that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video now, put it all together, upload it, and then we'll see what it looks like come spring. I'm sure it'll look a lot better than uh, last spring and the 14 springs before. <laughs> so we're into December dirty bottom as I expected. Not many leaves, thankfully. I've come out a couple of times to clear them out. 
I need to go grab that one. It's not too bad. So it's December 2nd, so that's the update. What's up, Courtney? What's up, Vern? Alright, it is May 1st. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. And we are starting the opening process. Would you stop getting in front of me? Would you stop getting in front of me? Not bad to start with. Not going to complain at all. Don't have to take the cover off. Deal with that big old mess. So, not bad. Who would have thought something so simple 
just don't put the cover on. So I'm gonna hook up the pump, raise the water level, and get this puppy opened. So there you go. Easy cheesy. All right, we've come to the end of the video. And as you can see, I have vacuumed. Um, it took me two hours and 20 minutes to vacuum the bottom of the pool, which is significantly less than if I would have had the tarp on and crap would have fell in because I would have been making more trips to the pump to clean out the basket and what have you. So that was definitely quicker and a lot less of a pain in the butt. There's still a few little ones. I expect to do one more vacuum, obviously. Um, some of the pointers and the pluses is throughout the winter, we threw in a couple bags of shock here and there to keep the water, uh, you know, from getting all icky and stinky. Uh, the floater, we kept tablets in that. The great thing about that was when I was vacuuming this time, straight out of the way, I didn't have, you know, it felt like I was vacuuming a swimming pool and not like a cesspool. And when I had to dig my hand into the water to clean out my vacuum end, um, it wasn't like, ew. <laughs> so that was definitely a plus. And uh, a couple of other notices that I've, pluses that I noticed was we have lots of frogs around here and we've had no frog issues as of yet this spring but they're all around here it's like a symphony in this neighborhood of frogs as you can probably just heard here in one now so there's usually tons of little frogs around here so that's going to hopefully save some frogs from the skimmer basket this year hopefully so yeah that was it that was cool so what i'm going to do now is just run the pump get the chemicals in let it do its thing skim the stuff off the top sorry about the neighbor i've been trying to make this video five times now and he's over there sanding or something so um where was i uh putting in the chemicals let it do its thing let the pump do its thing drop things now come out and do one more last vacuum um which would probably take about you know, 45 minutes, an hour, just to do a quick skim of the bottom to get the rest of the stuff off. But yeah, that's it. Definitely the way I'm going to go from here on out. And uh, hopefully that made life easier for a lot of people because I know, like I've said probably earlier in this video, it. I always try to find a way to make this a, the most pain-free way of opening the pool and closing the pool. And uh, this has been it so far. So pretty cool. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, hopefully that helped. Later.